everyone and welcome back. Look at all these lovely patrons. They voted for Sour Girl by Stan Temple Pilots. We had a little vote over at Patreon. And this one won massively. Intro section goes like this. <laughs> into the the verse riff and not terribly difficult live you'll sometimes see him fretting this around here but i'm going to go for the open position just so it'll ring out nicely check my fingering out as well i'm going zero two three for the first part and this comes in on the fourth beat okay so you're going to count three one two three and that third fret there is the first beat of the next bar so the first few bits slowly Two, three. So things to look out for. That's my second finger to my third. And my first finger frets the um, C on the B string, right? First fret on the B. And I can roll down to my second finger. You're playing a C there, so you're going from a kind of F shape to a C shape, kind of, right? Second finger off. All your fingers need to come off now, and you're going to fret the two first frets either side of an open G string. Okay, so I'm using my first and my second fingers there. First finger off then. And then my third finger hits the second fret. I play that three times. So that little part again. Then I slide that finger up one fret. I play three, 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 two. Then you're into some chords and you can fret the whole thing. So it's up, up, down, slide. Okay, then I think he plays. You could just play the um, open D twice if you want, but I like. It sounds like there's a bit more movement going on and I hear something else going on there. So that's what I've tabbed. And round again. But this time you'll notice there's a few less, a few less eighth notes, okay? And he lets it ring out a bit more. So you've got. And you just stay on the G chord for the last three beats. Okay. Now, this part's a bit tricky. You've got this chord. To this chord. And then you've got an F to a G. The little sus4 fill at the end, right? Now the first part is tricky. It took me a while to get this, but I mean Dean DeLeo and his amazing chord voicings, you know, it's probably normal for Dean. <laughs> it's not for me. And I'd be surprised if it is for you. So you can um let me show you how it is normally and then I'll simplify, okay? So I've got my third finger on the fifth fret on the low string, right? That is naturally muting the next string, so don't worry about that. The next one's open. And then you've got four, three, five. I'm using two, one, four there, right? So you're going to play the root and then an upstroke for the top part of the chord. There's several ways you can fret this, okay? First off, first finger flattened on the fifth fret and then your third finger to complete that D shape and then you've got an open D again. But bring your second finger over Again, you're going to naturally meet that A string, which is good. You don't want that. Okay, so you've got to take all of your fingers off and then make that shape. But I didn't find that 
as difficult as some other ones that I did. So that's the one I'd recommend first. The second one I'd recommend is just sliding your third finger up one fret and then making that D shape underneath it, right? And I'm using my first and second fingers there. First a bar, second one goes on the fifth fret on the B. So that one would be. But I'm getting a bit caffled up there. Another way to play it, and I think this might be how Dean plays it, is slide it up again, but then you use your little finger to tuck in behind, right? And your middle finger does nothing. So you could do that too, okay? The other way to play it is to abandon this note. Bring your thumb over and just mute that, and then play the open A. Okay, and then move to whichever one of those chords you like. Okay, and you're gonna play that rhythm, right? Down, up, up, down. Again. But let it ring out for as long as you can. Then the next part. So that's just the low part of an F major. And on the up stroke, I hit the whole chord. And then up. And I use my little finger to get that sus4 in, right? Which is the fifth fret on the G string, okay? Notice me flattening that down there. But I'm only aiming for these low four strings, okay? Because if I go beyond, you'll hear that as well. You don't want that. So, the whole thing slowly. Three, four. Okay, now the next part, again, I'll show you a simplification, but I think he plays this. say this is easy either but you can do it so the first chord is a more simplified one of the second chord that we played in the verse part right so you're gonna play a d5 shape and then bring your second finger over onto the sixth fret again a string gets muted down 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 up Then you change. And this is going from a B flat chord to a an F chord, okay? You don't actually have to fret that eighth fret there on the A string if you don't want to. You could just go, which is what I've tabbed. So what I've tabbed is I think on an electric that is what he does, but on an acoustic, I'd sound that out. Okay, with that rhythm. Again, slowly. Then to a, a C to a G. With that strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down. Then change. Up, up, down, down, up, down. And I think the voicing for the G chord is just this. Okay, so you've got A string getting muted. And then you've only got your little finger on the third fret on the, uh, the top E, right? Okay, the second time, and I've seen him do this live, you could just go back to that again and play. Okay, you could do that again, or you can play this part, which live he does this chord right 
and then he lifts part of his first finger up so you can get the open E in. So you get that cool, cool chord, right? Then you do an F. So that again, three, four. Okay, that is difficult. A couple of ways to simplify this. You could ignore all this stuff up here and you can just play a B to an F for the first two bars, okay? Or even easier, use the bar chord. You could do that, right, okay? Or fret it here. Okay, or you could do a sus2. So you've got one, three, three, one, one there. So those are your options. Pick whichever one you like. Um, now, coming out of it, you go into this part. Okay, that replaces the um, G part. So again, same voicing as when you're coming out of the F. But you're gonna play up to the seventh fret, up to the tenth fret. But what I like to do is tuck my first finger on the eighth fret there, on the B there. So you get a nicer sounding chord, right? So that is. And you don't have to play the whole thing. You could just put, do a one-fingered thing. Okay, and I'm just aiming for the top sort of four strings or the low four strings there, right? Or. I'd encourage you to do the latter because when you see him playing it live, he is just strumming away merrily, right? Regardless of these crazy, crazy chord voicings. That's it in terms of the riffs, but there are some really cool overdubs. One of them comes in in the chorus, which goes like this. And then there's a rest for two bars, okay? Um, there's an, it comes in again with a subtly different flavour, but let's do this one first, which goes... Um, so you've got three one one, and this is on an electric, but I'll show you on the acoustic. You've got a hammer on, grace note hammer on, with your um, with the first to third fret on the B string. I'm using my little finger, right, to hammer on. Okay, so you're playing all three strings there, but hammering on one. The next part is a triplet, which goes, but you also hit the top. E, right, the first fret on the top E there. Okay, so that slowly. So you keep all your fingers in situ, but play. And another one. I think you might actually leave it like that, right? But I like to sound out the last chord as well, because he does do that a couple of times. So you might as well learn that way. And then to, uh, you know, an F, F chord, right? So. Then you just move it up two frets. There's one extra note put in though. that one before you go to so it's okay and then back around the last one next time round he'll play this okay then again And then... And then 
you're into that intro part again, okay? So the only difference there is you play the first time the same. Then you go to this part. I'm using my second finger there on the second fret. Okay, that's pretty straightforward, so I won't labour that. And then coming out of that, you go back into the intro. Okay, and then again, but you leave some notes ring out. Okay, so that should be pretty straightforward. Then you're back into... And then you've got this overdubbed slide part, which is played on a, an electric guitar, but the melody goes... Three, four... And it just repeats around, but you're obviously going to do it all on one string. One more time. And that's it. You're done. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.